Assalamu alaikum everyone. I am Asma, your instructor of Econ 315. I am making this video to explain that what we'll cover in this course, what the course is about, which topic you will cover, which books you will use, and at the end of the semester, what skills you will develop by doing this course. Okay, so here we go with the details. Uh, I, am, I have attached a small course or outline, and uh, on the right side, you can see the topics. So here we go with five topics which will be uh, representing the content of the course. The, I will start with optimization and then I'll move on to the different topics. So I'll explain a bit about all of these topics one by one. Moving on, uh, optimization you must have done into your Econ 315 course, sorry, Econ 103 course. Uh, and where you have learned that how to maximize utility subject to budget constraint or how to minimize cost subject to production constraint. And you work out with the Lagrangian for multiplier technique. And what do you do in Lagrangian that every time you use the Lagrangian, you keep on adding one uh, Lagrangian multiplier and uh, you calculate the value from the equations. Now think of a situation that if you are facing with uh, many constraints and uh, what will you do then in that case uh, if you use the Lagrangian technique that means that you will be adding one more uh, Lagrangian multiplier for every to cater every constraint uh, well this is not a right way to work with this situation and we have another technique which is available for such situation which is called linear programming and that will make the second topic of this course well, linear programming comprises of maximization and minimization of an objective function when you have more than one constraint. As you can see with this help of this figure, you can see many constraints depicted through diagram. Here is all of these lines representing the constraint which I am mentioning. And this is um, a problem with minimization. Similarly, programming thing, uh, you can see the you know problem. Can you see this? This is nonlinear function which you are minimizing subject to the constraint. So this is something like, and what you will work, you will learn Kuhn-Tucker conditions. So once you will be doing this, you will learn you will learn that what is Kuhn-Tucker condition and how the optimization is done in this situation. So that ends the second topic, moving on. Now we will start with integration. Why we are doing it? The reason is that uh, we have two kind of uh, situation one is called static and second is called dynamic in static we don't consider time is changing and we take variables in a static time period time remains same but in economics as we know that variables are changing over time for example if you talk about gdp it's changing over time so any model which uh, which talks about which models gdp so must be given in term of um, you know dynamic model where the time is changing so in economics we also have to deal with uh, variables and models which are changing over time so we will have to move from static equilibrium your yeah, static situations to non-static situation which is called dynamics so in uh, the second portion the, the second segment of the course talks about dynamic part which consists of three further parts one is integration and application second is difference equation and application and the last is differential equation and application so integration uh, we will in integration we will learn different methodologies of working with integration the technique and methods and the formulas which are used in integration and a different type of function which are integrated and then we'll work out that the application of or integration uh, one of the example is given here consumer surplus producer surplus it is used to you know integration is used to calculate these kind of things so we will learn in detail in the class is going to be very interesting because Harrod model and Domer model um, uh, in the later stages so coming to the topic number four which I just mentioned differential equation and differential is from derivative so an equation which consists of derivatives is called differential equation and we'll see that how to work with this differential equation why it is important in economics um, how economic equations can be represented in a differential equation how what are the methods of solving these equations what is first degree what is second degree what is order and so on and then after learning all those techniques we will go with 
the application part in the application part we'll work with the you know domer model and solo growth model so that's going to be very very interesting and after that we will move on after doing the first order second order differential equation we'll move on to difference equation so what's the difference between differential and difference in differential equation you could you, you must have seen that the derivatives are involved and derivatives are represented in time is changing constantly so if a continuous time period changing is involved in a variable we use differential equation and once it the time period changing is after a given time period so uh, for example uh, variables changing over in after one year so it's difference equation which has these kind of variables so again we will learn with what is difference equation what is first order which is second order how to solve it what we get from difference equation and then we will work out the economic model and the first economic model which we'll learn with uh, difference equation is cobweb model and it's very very interesting you must have seen that in your microeconomics courses you just make supply and demand and they interact and equilibrium is there and once there is any change shift in demand for example so you know uh, you have uh, another equilibrium and you just move from one point to another point but in reality it's not like that so cover model will tell you that is it possible to reach from one equilibrium to another equilibrium or is it any situation when we do not reach to second equilibrium you must have learned about the Great Depression. You must have learned about many disequilibrium situations. So this model will talk about that if there is any shock in the economy, so how would it be, whether it will go to the equilibrium, second equilibrium, will it come back to original equilibrium? And is there any situation where it will never reach to an equilibrium? So this is what we learn by the help of difference equations and with a Cobweb model. Similarly, for the second order difference equation, we'll go through. Uh, this is very well known. It's called Samuelson multiplier accelerator model. And this one is the one the diagram. This shows that Samuelson. This is uh, Hicks trace cycle model. So these are the equations. So you will enjoy a lot. You will learn a lot. And this course is really very interesting. And I hope that I will see you in the class and we will enjoy and we learn together. So it's important to mention the books which we'll be using. It's, uh, these are the books which will be mentioned in the course outline, the topic we'll cover. And uh, that is all from my side. Hoping to see you all. Uh, so thank you so much for listening to this video. And uh, I hope that uh, have a wonderful session uh, with all of you. And thank you so much. Goodbye.